Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Panzer Corps. I keep wanting to say Commander of the Great War, <laughs> but this isn't this game. That game is interesting in a different way. Let's see who can defend the best against the oncoming onslaught of people, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, here we are, trying to find a use for all of our useless people. Or just around their planes. They're not really technically useless, they're just kind of... They don't have a... Actually, they are technically useless. Alright, so we'll end the turn. It'll get rainy. Everyone will shoot at everyone. And it looks like it's being very, very rainy today. So we're just gonna... Excuse me. Have to unload on this one city, because we obviously know where the city is. Looks like they're fully suppressed. And we're just gonna keep on loading anyway. I mean, no reason to stop. Is there a way we can sneak them up? Alright. My city now. Awesome. And that should be victory. BB Gesundter. Just kind of see about getting you elite reinforced. I believe that's most, if not all, of the area. You men, throw yourselves against that brick wall. I don't really care if you die. I just want this city. Your auxiliaries. It doesn't matter. Thank you for weakening them for me. Your sacrifice will be remembered somewhere. Over the odd way, we don't have any movement points left. Never mind. <laughs> we can't take the city. Well, we've killed all the troops, so we will take it next turn. No, next. Tomorrow. And that is April 20th, 1941. So that will end the turn. And we won a marginal victory, which is another way of saying we crushed them, just not very quickly. So let us proceed. Ooh, this is... This is interesting. Another campaign skillfully fought. Our southern force is now secure, and our allies have been bailed out of their troublesome situation. Now this business is finally concluded, we have a real assignment for you. The upcoming invasion of the Soviet Union. We will test our strength against the Soviet bear. Operation Barbarossa. Our invasion of the Soviet Union has begun. From the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea, our forces are on the march against the Bolshevik. High Command has taken extraordinary measures to ensure complete secrecy for our invasion, and intelligence seems to confirm that our surprise is complete. You should encounter little Soviet resistance on your initial drive eastward, but expect resistance to grow as you cover more ground. Your core forces have been designated Army Group Center, and your ultimate objective for the first phase of the invasion is the city of Smolensk. Make no mistake, this invasion will be the largest the world has seen, and this enemy will be more numerous than any previous. Do not underestimate the Red Bear, Herr General, or it will be both our heads. All right, so it looks like we get to invade Russia, and we have nine turns to capture every, yes, all of the things. So we have a motorcycle scout car, a tank, a tiny tank, a big cannon, a mobile cannon, and a new half-track. Along with the uber awesome flam tank. Um, and it looks like this will be Vitebus? That's Smolensk. So our goal is to hit Smolensk, which I believe is just south of Moscow. Yeah, Vitebus. Western Divina River. The Elbe should be around here somewhere. I remember correctly, it's the Bug River. No, um, nine men. Alrighty then. This looks like it's gonna be interesting. What is that? What are you? <laughs> Educate me as to your purpose. 
a scout car, obviously. We can deploy 28 units. We only have 20 in reserve, so it looks like our entire army group is going to be fighting this one. Um, and we will be throwing in 8 more units into the mix. Um, probably some flame tanks, so let's, let's take a look at what we got. What are you? It's a motorcycle. Compared to everyone else, they have really high movement, I assume. There's a vision movement indicator. Oh, yeah, actually, they're just... What are they, what are they good at? They're good at shooting up tanks and not getting shot by things. Alright, cool. Um, tanks. Panzer II Flam. They're just really good at shooting up infantry. So, flame tank. Alright, cool. Um... Probably some Panzer IVs. Reconnaissance. We'll definitely get a Panzer. Uh, at least one, if we can. Uh, okay, the Jaegers for the time being. Uh, which one is faster? Which one is more mobile? Uh, oh, this one is. We'll probably uh, wind up. Okay, which one has more range? Hmm, this one does. It's this. Let's compare this to this. So you have this, and I want to upgrade you to this. Less ammo, better anti-infantry and anti-tank. Okay, so this is better. Um, anti-aircraft. Probably have to buy one of those at least. Uh, we have be we should have vehicle and irons. I'll upgrade some of the D's to C's to D's if I have any. And um, double check and make sure all those are up. All right. the infantry deployment zones. So this is we're going to have several large forces. Um, this is Army Group Center. Our origin... Our so let's separate this into phases, I suppose. This is a rather large map. So first phase will be uh, take the city of Brest. Get across this bridge. Here. Here. Get across here. Take the city of... Bielstock. Um, here, phase one will consist of taking the city of Vilna, the airfield associated with it, and Grodno. Phase one is just basically code name for let's get over the river. Uh, phase two. Well, actually, do I even want to? No, I just want to take the city of Brest and get across. Alright, so phase two. Um, where are the roads? I'm gonna look at the roads also. So there's a road running along this way. So, since we should be occupying these positions, by phase two, by phase one I mean, phase two will consist of taking these four cities and their airfields. So these three objectives. Um, Vojovsk, Novogrodo, Branovici in Minsk. What's, what, what's this one called? Branovici. Alright, so that one should do it. And uh, we'll also take this airfield with uh, probably a recce of some sort. Um, phase 3.5 will be taking Bobruis. Phase 4 will be this line of cities right here. because I'm going along the road flows, not just the map. So yeah, phase 3 will be taking these, these cities right here. So phase 3 will be a big combat operation. Phase... Let's see, so 1... No, okay, so phase 2 will be you take these cities and this airfield. Phase 3 will be um, taking the city of Lepel, Orsha, or actually, let's, let's say a uh, city of Mogilev, Russia, and Vitebsk. And phase four will be our cleanup operation where we take Smolensk and uh, Pol Polotos. Pol 
Follow Tsk. Follow Tsk. Alright. This should totally go off without an itch. All we need is lots and lots of fire. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say a ton of st er, tactical bombers, because I want to be eliminating units as quickly as possible, and the best way to get munitions to the front is through air mail. Hmm. I should about do it for this one. So as, um, that's my tactical analysis of the next battle. Um, there we go. I guess my initial battle plan for the next battle. Probably line up some infantry to go across the bridge right here with an artillery support. Um, mobile artillery up here with slow artillery down here, since their one job is to take that city. So the Sturm Panzer, the Stug, one of those new awesome half track double warfare things. Go down he over here in the north. Tanks in the back. Some aircraft. Go over here. Yeah. Alright, so. I have been your host, uh, Tomato. As always, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a nice day. Goodbye.